Good morning. In thinking about gratitude recently, a lovely coincidence appeared in the form of a newly published novel by a former colleague. It offers the best example of daily living from gratitude that I've heard about lately. The novel is Rules for Giving by Tim Sunderland, a long ago Monta Vista member who joins us again today. The contemporary Southern California plot is complex, realistic, and rich with characters dealing with issues we UUs care about. Abortion, alcoholism, homelessness, mental illness, GLBTQ identity and acceptance. More importantly, the sweet, brilliant underlying theme that ties it all together is that of the title itself, Rules for Giving. The main character, Gavin Oliver, reveals these rules after he's been spotted giving money to a freeway off-ramp panhandler. He's asked by a new acquaintance, do you always give to the homeless? He says, only if they fall within my rules. What rules? He explains, I have a set of rules for giving to homeless and other people who ask for money. It lets me give or not give and not feel bad about it and hands her a laminated card from his wallet. The card reads, Gavin's Rules for Giving. Mm -hmm. Number one, I give. Life has been good to me, and I believe that somebody somewhere blesses my benevolence. If you look like you need it, or you ask for it, I give you money. Number two, four dollars a day. That doesn't sound like much. But $4 a day times 365 days in a year is close to $1,500 a year. That's a chunk of change. Number three, I don't make judgments. I don't care if the money buys a bottle of wine or a bottle of milk. Once it leaves my hands, it's not my concern. Number four, if you approach me in a retail situation, outside of a supermarket or a similar environment, I might say no. There are so many people in these places I have to draw the line. Also, if I'm dining outside of the sidewalk cafe, I'm also likely to say no. I need peace somewhere. Number five, I reserve the right to break these rules at any time. <laughs> they are my rules. <laughs> His new acquaintance, Rose, says, you made up these rules, she asks. It's easier than agonizing over who I give money to and who I walk away from, he says. Why do you print your reasons on a card like this? For times like these when folks ask me why I give. It's easier to hand them a card. Now I don't have a card to give you this morning, but in the back on the green table are laminated bookmarks for you to take to inspire or affirm your own personal life rules for giving. But more so, it's one example of what living out of gratitude looks like. It's an example that's helped me personally to clarify my own practices of giving out of gratitude. My own gratitudes for all that I have been given. Indeed, for all that I have been given, my own gratitudes for so much, including friends and their creativity, for my love of reading, and for all the inspiration I regularly receive from literature and from this community, all of you, and from Unitarian Universalism in the larger world, for which I am delighted to offer a big hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs>